Welcome back to Nervous Reviews, where we review your books. A recent user submitted their very fine book, and it's called White Knight. And uh, today, we're going to review this random book. So all I have to say about this book is, whoever wrote this book deserves to no longer be allowed to write books. When you look at their entire life compiled into one novel, you see that it has very little meaning at all, and should actually ban them from ever being allowed to touch a pen and paper ever again. Now, Jim Butcher in this book actually does a lot of things that complicate the matter a lot. Now, this is a very specific type of story. This is a very specific type of general plot line, the entire Dresden Files plot line. And this kind of goes against a lot of it. There's certain things that fundamentally work about Dresden Files. And a lot of these things work by pure chance and a lot of them work by really smart author decisions. This is one of those things that breaks the entire mold in such a way that it actually does not work within the broader plot of Dresden. Now my problem with this book is pretty simple. It feels like it doesn't fit into the broader story of Dresden. And that's not a very easy thing to explain. I can explain it from the point of view of someone who's very into the craft of writing, into the actual art of the story. But I don't think that that would be very cohesive to your knowledge on the subject. But I'll try it anyway. The way that I try to understand this bit of a flaw of a book is that I think back to how Dresden started in the first place. And Jim Butcher is very famous for being credited as saying that Dresden began when he was in college and he wrote his first Dresden book. And before, after that time, his teacher told him to create an outline of the story. And to, to do that, he created an entire outline of all 20 or 21 so books, each with one line all of which are supposed to be in one large series. So he created the entire series right at the beginning in one line. That is very clear in this book. And I think that that is the problem with this book. With most of these individual stories, Butcher is able to create a story that is able to fit within the broader narrative. This isn't something that he's particularly good at, but it works out nonetheless. A lot of the stories just fit into a broader plot line somewhere or other, and that's enough. This story, on the other hand, doesn't do that as well. The end of the story is it trying to fit into a broader narrative. He is trying to do that. But the first half of the story is him trying to create a good story. And you see that these two things are mutually exclusive in a world where he defined the entire plot of a book in one sentence. This is just what happens when you do that kind of thing. The first half of the book is a simple story that I was actually engaged in. And the second half of the book was it trying to be connected to the rest of the plot lines without a really good reason for it being so. And because the first half is already meh, you know, it, it is a Dresden story. It's not going to be particularly great at the plot. It's fine, but it's really not that great. Maximum of three stars, probably more like two. The second half completely takes away any of the beginning mystery, the, the allure of the beginning, and any of the action, and turns it into this weird political entity that Dresden has been fighting for a long time, and he's just going to do this little part within the broader story that really has very little effect, but is technically effective, and none of these plots are particularly good. Now, I don't have too much to say about this in the non-spoiler section, because I think it would better be suited to the spoiler section, but I think you understand what I'm saying, so for those who haven't read the book, you can move on. Now I'll begin the spoiler section. Now, I think you understand what I'm talking about, but I think I'll clarify it a little bit more. The murder mystery plot got me. I was cool with that. This is not out of the ordinary for a Dresden novel. But then, at the halfway point, once we discover that this is no longer a murder mystery, this is a political story about the red court or white court or someone, and Dresden needs to go in and do this action that will slightly tilt the scales in another person's favor because of some complex reasons we don't understand. By doing some complex things that we don't quite understand, maybe you understood these things, but as a casual reader, this was not what I was focusing on that much. And I get it, but regardless, like the complications shouldn't have been that complicated. And even if it was that complicated, which is not that big of a deal, it shouldn't have been trying to be in the same story as the first half of the book. Because the first half of the book is not that. It's a simple story. The second half of the book is a complex story that has very little to do with the rest of it. So that's kind of why I'm having a problem with the story. It feels like it doesn't fit into one book. In fact, it feels like it's not even half a story. It feels like it's the beginning of a story, not even half, but just the beginning, and then the end of a different story that is technically connected by proper connective tissue, but it doesn't feel that way. And so that's all to say that Dresden Files is really not that good anymore. It, it's This book was such a disappointment. It's one of the worst books in the series, and I had very little fun reading it. I'm going to give it a one star because of just how bored I was reading and trying to figure out how did we get here? What what wh Why did we get to this plot? How does this relate to that? And maybe I would have understood if I read more carefully, but I feel like that's not the type of story that Dresden has already set itself to be. So, so that's my review. Uh, all the usual stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye.